So good morning and thank you very much for having us here today. Um, uh, my name is Tom O'Mara. I'm going to present um, with my colleague uh, Dara Coakley from CIT, the Transformation True Collaboration Project. So the partners in the project, I'm just going to quickly fly through this, um, uh, is IT Tralee, uh, Cork Institute of Technology, UCC, Institute of Technology, Carlo, and Waterford IT. Now, unfortunately, our colleagues in Waterford IT, Laura Widger um, and Damien uh, Raftery from um, Carlo, and also Michael Connell from Tralee, can't be with us today just because they're tied up in other events. So hopefully they're watching the live stream. I'm just going to say hello to them. They're here with us in spirit. Um, and they'll probably be texting me questions and, and suggestions as we go on. So um, that's just a list of the people involved. Um, what I did was I just I, I literally just cut and paste um, the information from the uh, teachingandlearning.ie website. So this is the overview of the project. So what we were trying to do was we had done some work um, under phase one on a couple of projects, most notably with CIT on a project called Tell Tools. So we wanted to continue to build on that work. Um, we wanted to bring together expertise in a southern cluster, uh, HEIs around the area of building digital literacy among staff. So I'm conscious of some people here were talking about students. We're really focused on staff and staff development uh, on this particular project. So the idea was we would increase the digital literacy skills of participants and provide a sustainable route uh, for the ongoing development. I think we've, we've done that. Um, the plan was we would identify uh, academic staff in each location and facilita facilitate learning. Um, and then these, stamp, these staff will become champions, digital champions. Um, we gave them all a nice pen last Tuesday with digital champion on it. Um, and the project then would document the journey that these champions took. So hopefully it's a little bit like, um, I'm going to use an Irish reference here, Operation Transformation, if you haven't seen that TV programme, where the idea was we find these champions and we watch them over a period of time as they grow and develop. And hopefully you find someone that you can identify with. So the various phases in the project that we set out, starting in phase one right the way up to phase seven, uh, which is completion um, at the, on the 30th of June this year. So I'll go back to these phases again in a minute. Um, so what we actually did, so that was the plan. Um, so in December 2015, we advertised for digital champions across each of the uh, five institutions. We then set up a website called digitalchampions.ie, and I'll put that up in a minute so you can have a look at that. And that was phase one. We selected our digital champions in January, I think that ran into February a little bit, uh, Dara, in some cases. In UCC we had six digital champions, we wanted four, and we had 13 people shortlisted and we selected six um, because we just felt we just liked uh, the cut of the jib of the other two people uh, involved in the project. CIT had 14, um, IT Tralee had nine, Waterford IT had seven, and IT Carlo had ten. So we set out with very small numbers, I think we said four initially, but then as we actually started to interview and talk to the champions and look at their needs, we felt, well, we really do need to be supporting these people. Now, I should say, in addition to the six, for example, in UCC, we had 13 applicants. Um, we have subsequently supported all seven, all other seven um, applicants in other ways outside of this project, and we see it as a great opportunity to engage with those champions. So in total, we had 46 um, digital champions across the five institutions. We developed training plans uh, for each of those um, champions individually, uh, and we started training with them, um, probably started training with them in January, really. And each of those champions, um, certainly in the case of UCC, had never engaged with us before, so they were completely new. Uh, we'd had very little interaction with them before this project. That was phase four. Um, and then what we did was, a, sorry, December week is a typo. Um, that should say, um, was it Digital Week? Digital Week, sorry. Digital Week we ran from February the 24th to the 25th across the five institutions. And you can have a look in your own time at the, the blog, but what you'll see is that um, on each of the days we ran a different session around a different theme in each of the institutions. And we recorded it um, and put them up on live and, and uh, online and streamed them. So I'm just going to click on this just very quickly. I'm not going to play much of this, but we use a tool called Panopto uh, to record what we did in UCC. It's an extra capturing system. Um, one of the interesting things about this project was, um, so I'll just jump in to, it's going to show you what happened.
Well, sorry, what was interesting about this was some people use uh, Blackboard Collaborate, some people use Adobe Connect, we use Panopto, someone else used video. It's actually very, very interesting just looking at the way people use different technologies to actually share um, the various events that are happening. So in this case, what we did was we ran a session for about three hours. Um, we had the Vice President of Teaching and Learning in UCC, John O'Halloran, Professor John O'Halloran, introduce it. Um, and then we had each of the champions come up on stage and just talk a little bit um, about what they wanted to achieve from the project. Um, and we had a very diverse group of people. I'm not going to play this. Um, you can, as I say, look at it um, in your own time. And each of the institutions then did something very similar. Uh, so we would have seen each of, the each of the champions in each of the institutions. And we would have had an input as well. So there was some training on the day. So in the case of UCC, um, a lot of our champions were focused around the area of video. So we did um, a couple of introduction sessions on video. So we had people talking about video production, presenting the camera, uh, and we ran follow-up sessions afterwards as well. Let's go back here. So that was phase five of the project, now ran for five days. Uh, we provided training and support, and there's a link there, I'm not going to link out, but that goes to the digitalchampions.ie um, site as well, and you'll see some training resources in there. What we tried to do was we didn't want to develop any new um, stuff, as, as Sarah says. What we did was we decided to use existing materials. So we used the tellu.me website, which is the um, Tell Tools project, which is funded under phase one of the, um, of the, of the fund. And we also used instructional design at ucc.ie, which is our own website in UCC with learning content on it. Uh, CIT would have used their own. Carlo, um, Waterford and Tralee would have used their own training materials as well and we shared them with people. Um, that training is ongoing, um, so with that training started in, in January with the Digital Champions and we'll continue with the Digital Champions really into the foreseeable future. We'll continue working with those champions after this project completes. One of the requirements was for someone to become a champion, they had to engage with us, they had to present a digital week, they had to uh, participate in an assessment, they had to uh, agree to a training plan, they had to engage with us in terms of their training, but they also had to add uh, blog posts to digitalchampions.ie, so we wanted them to document their journey. Um, and we've got that, we've, to varying degrees of success, I would say, that some people have uh, produced some really nice blogs and really nice uh, introductions to what they've done, uh, others were still uh, chasing, we'll be chasing them until the end of, uh, end of June. But we hope some of them will continue to add to the blog afterwards. Um, all of this culminated then in a Digital Champions Day a couple of days ago and uh, I was a little bit um, remiss in getting budgets back to the National Forum because we were a bit preoccupied with running uh, our Digital Champions Day. Um, on Tuesday. Um, so what we did was, I'll just play a short video if this works. This is only one minute long, but it'll give you a sense of what we did on the day. <coughs> of course I can't remember my password for this, can I? Can, oh, good, so it's a video. Okay, brilliant. Thanks, Kevin. So I'm Tom O'Mara, the Online Learning Project Manager here in UCC, and I'm the coordinator of the Transformation Through Collaboration project. So today's event was about bringing the digital champions from our five institutions together for the first time uh, in the same room. It was a celebration of the work that they've done over the last six months. It was a chance for them to share experiences, to interact with each other, to network with each other, to learn from each other, and hopefully to share their experiences and figure out ways of collaborating into the future. This event is in a way, a celebration or a marking of um, the fact that many people here have been on personal journeys. Dr. Irene McCormick, and I'm a lecturer in media studies in IT Carlo. Shane Cronin from the Cork Institute of Technology. My name is Kate Madden. I'm a nursing lecturer in the Department of Nursing and Healthcare at Waterford Institute of Technology. And my name is Thomas Broderick. I work in CIT um, in the Department of Sport and Leisure and Childhood Studies. My name is Mary Brossel, and I'm from the Institute of Technology in Tralee, and I work in the nursing department. My name is Emma Thompson. I work as a nurse lecturer in the Institute of Technology in Tralee. My name is Tim O'Sullivan. I'm a lecturer in the School of Pharmacy and I also teach in the Department of Chemistry.
Okay, so what we're doing, I just asked the editor just to put together that uh, one minute clip just to give you an idea of what we were uh, trying to achieve. Um, we ran the day on Tuesday, as I said, we had 27 of our digital champions uh, attend that event of the 46, so we were quite happy with that. Um, we gave, um, we had John, Professor John Nocton from Cambridge University over doing a keynote speech for us. John is a, um, an alumnus of UCC, so we're uh, quite friendly with John. Um, we got each of the digital champions, each, each of the institutions on stage, presenting their work, so they all got about 20 minutes, I think it was, to present the work that they had done. We then had breakout sessions where we, we had theme discussions, um, and at the end we had a presentation where we gave each of them um, a token, really, um, which is a UCC is uh, one of is Ireland's first uh, green campus. We gave them a bamboo uh, pen with digital champion inscribed on it. We only got we got 50 of these made. We had 46 champions, so we had four spare. So we're trying to uh, encourage other people to be taking. This is the carrot that will get people engaged in technology. We also gave them a USB key, uh, which is quite nice. Um, and we gave them a digital badge, um, which really generated quite a bit of uh, interest. It was the first time that UCC has engaged and worked on digital badges. So it was really nice to work with the other institutions and actually come up with this badge ourselves. Um, and we spent quite a bit of time actually talking to the guys from all aboard um, before we actually put the badge together. Um, so that's, that was an interesting thing to do. We are putting together the final video, um, and it'll be uh, finished by the end of June. Um, we have the entire event video. We have all these nice sound bites with the various different champions outside um, talking about um, the impact that technology has had on their learning, what they hope to do for the future, um, key message, what message would they, get, they give somebody starting out on a journey. We're going to use all those video clips. We're going to circulate them between the institutions um, so they can use them um, in different ways across their institutions as well over the coming months. Um, and finally, by the end of June, um, we will have updated uh, digitalchampions.ie with all of that content, with the videos, um, with the blogs, and with any other additional information we can get um, from the champions as well. So I think, Dora, that kind of summarizes it. Is there anything else? Um, I suppose maybe just some additional elements was um, uh, institutions have internal events as well, which involved kind of, let's say, within CIT, CIT digital champions presenting to the rest of CIT staff. Similar as the UCC, in addition to the Digital Champions Day. So those were streamed live and the recordings are also available. They'll be added to the blog, as will all of the presentations which the Digital Champions gave. So there's a huge amount of content there. I think the remainder of the project really will just be trying to structure the blog in a way that best benefits making this content available and accessible and relevant to, uh, to the general public and to yeah. other educators. So I think it, it's interesting that, they've, that we've taken ownership of the blog, you know, outside of this project, and it's, it, there's no significant cost to it, so it's really about how do we use that content into the future. Okay, so um, we were asked to talk about the local and national impact. Um, so I suppose initially what the project did was it initially helped us to develop internal networks of digital champions. So we, within each of the institutions, we now have these people who are called digital champions, who work with each other, who talk to each other, who share experiences. Um, but also within the Southern Cluster, we've now got people um, talking uh, across institutions. So there's a fantastic lady, for example, from IT Tralee, who came along and talked about uh, the impact that it had on, uh, on her teaching in the, within the field of nursing. And we had colleagues from UCC in the School of Nursing going, God, I never didn't know that lady. Um, and they went up and made a connection. And there was lots of that happening last Tuesday, and we see this as a, as a vehicle for lots of that collaboration to happen into the future. Um, nationally, we hope that digitalchampions.ie will continue to be updated, um, and hopefully it'll be an inspiration to other would-be champions. So again, and I go back to the Operation Transformation uh, concept. Um, we were very keen that we would use existing resources that are already out there. So we have referenced uh, tellyou.me. Uh, instructional design website and UCC, all of the other institutions' websites. We've also referenced All Aboard uh, HE as well and various other um, websites. So we're, we're not really about reinventing the wheel here, we're about using that content and providing individualised support to individual academics to develop their own specific skill sets. Um, we think there's great scope um, to, do, uh, to do some follow-up projects. Um, We'll be talking to the various institutions, we'll be talking to ourselves and see what we can do together, but it'd be great to talk to the National Forum as well about it, perhaps a follow-up to this as well and see what can we do, uh, how can we build on it. So evaluation, okay, so just this, and this is my last slide. Uh, I suppose the project did what it said on the tin, which is a great phrase if you're not familiar with Ron Seal um, in Ireland. Um, you know, I feel that we actually, we did everything we said we would do along the way. Um, however, we felt the timelines are very short, and we did say this when we put in the application back in October last year, that six months was 
very, very short for us to achieve what we wanted to achieve. Uh, it meant that organising events was very difficult and very challenging for us. Um, the selection of candidates was very pressured, and one thing we've talked about was we had this idea, and I think somebody just talked about it this morning, about developing an assessment tool so we could actually compare skill sets across institutions. We just didn't have the time to do that, so we selected uh, uh, academics in each individual institution. Uh, and the training was very compressed, but it will continue. Um, in, in a way, it gave us a focus uh, working towards June the 7th, but at the same time, it put everyone under a lot of pressure. Um, the, I, I just wanted to make a final point to say the administration of this project was very significant for us. So I think if we were looking at it in future, we would have to have a full-time administrator working on the project, especially across institutions, just dealing with budgets, organizing events, um, that, that type of stuff. That's it. Okay.